up, Zach? Welcome to another free phone sales training webinar. Every Saturday we've been doing this, except for last Saturday, okay? Four of the last five weeks, I've came to you for free on a Saturday morning to get you jacked up, to recap the week, to give away some, some sales training secrets, all right? Because I truly do believe when it comes to sales training, I am the best in our industry, all right? I've seen everyone else and I am sold on my ability to help you make more sales and make more money. And you say, well, wh why is that, Cody? I would say that that's immediately the case simply because I got started in this business when I was 19, cold calling out of a phone book. What's up? What's up, Matt? So, so and, and, and if you think about that, when I was a new agent and I was cold calling and, I, and I've been doing this for a decade to make $117,000 in the environment I was in while in college playing basketball, right? I must have knew a thing or two, okay? So I'm grateful that you're here. Thank you so much for being a part of Phone Sales Training 4.0 for absolutely free, okay? So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm jacked about this. I love doing this. I get excited and... I'm going to go through several things today that have to do with engagement. Okay, so we did our first phone sales training webinar as people are joining. We did our first one on April the 4th. Then we did a 2.0 on April the 11th. Then we did another one on April 18th. That was 3.0. Okay, and we've had uh, a lot more people register again than we, you know, imagine today. Once again, people just keep coming back strong, and I'm grateful that you are because I'm here to help. And then last week, we had over 2,300 agents on a live virtual conference for 8% Nation for six hours of content. Drop something on social media or in chat or in comments if you absolutely loved last Saturday, and I know you did. I had a blast doing it. And, and, and you know what? People on my team are asking me, like, dude, why do you continue to do these free phones? sales training like webinar why do you keep doing so much free stuff why do you keep putting out so much free content and a lot of people thank you Luis. and a lot of people were like dude you could be monetizing a lot more than you are for me when i write down my goals every morning the last goal that i write down is i want to help every insurance agent in the world and that doesn't come down to money when you want to help people when you want to touch an industry it's not about the money that you make and 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 for me that is 100 percent the case all right so before we jump into engagement today because i was training a team out of texas yesterday and we talked a lot about engagement now they're they're they've hired me to consult them for a year so i mean i'm, I'm not going to give away as much as i gave them because that's only fair because this is free and it, you know wouldn't be fair right but i promise you you'll get some valuable stuff and some amazing stuff out of today's webinar so thank you for being on i am going to do this i am going to do this um for for everyone that's on i want to challenge you to share this on facebook and tag me or to put this on Instagram and tag me, um, either a post or a story, and I'm gonna choose, and a Andy, remind me, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose a couple people that do that today, and I'm gonna Venmo you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna Venmo you some money, all right? So uh, just for sharing this thing, I'm gonna give away some money. Uh, I give away money to our team all the time. We, we, we've, been, we've had our whole team on Zoom, remote, and I've been going on, on uh, especially Fridays, and I'll go on and we'll do like the trivia game. We got 30 people on the Zoom and the first person to put the right answer in chat for the trivia is, is going to get Venmo some money. So we, we'll like have some fun. I love to have some fun. And, and I bring that up because it's going to get, it's going to transition perfectly into the first topic that I'm going to address today. All right. So, so before I get to what I'm going to train on, um, there's a few things that I want to do. Again, huge thank you to you for being here. I love doing this. And we're going to keep bringing it strong. If my energy ever lightens up, stop listening to me. Okay, that's what I would do. All right, so again, we've got over 200 members in our Telesales Mastery membership. And that could be light, by the way. It, 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 that, was, that was last I checked. It may be 250 or 300 now. People are joining all day, every day. And we're adding stuff to this Telesales Mastery membership like crazy. If you're like, hey, what are you talking about? I put the link in chat. I'm also going to continue to waive the $300 joining fee today only, all right? So we've added a lot of stuff to this membership, and I'm going to actually, uh, before I get to some training, I'm going to share this really quick just so that you can see um, what I'm talking about, all right? So let me go ahead and uh, 
I want to share my screen. Um, okay, good. You guys can see that. All right. Okay, good. So um, we've added, not only did we release a telesales contest, we've got a bunch of welcome videos. We've got the old mastering intro telesales. We've got scripts, resources, uh, stuff with my buddy Ramiz, stuff with Eric, Brad, different scripts, business reviews, listening to calls, dialer discounts. As you start to want to join the telesales web the membership today, it's in chat. Also, if you want me to train your sales team, if you want me to train your sales team, email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. I'd love to do that, all right? I will make them world-class salespeople. I can guarantee you that. They spend some time with me. They are guaranteed to be successful at sales. They are guaranteed to dominate a market. They are guaranteed to start to get infectious and to wake up and to get excited. Okay, good, good, good. Um, I can hear and see. Okay, good. All right, so we're back. Okay, so. For phone sales training webinar 4.0, I want to talk about engagement. I want to talk about prospect engagement, client engagement, lead engagement, talking to talking to people consistently. Okay, talking to people consistently. Um, how do we find out more about the Telsos Master Membership? Yes. So, 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 uh, Claire, I put that in chat. Um, we have a link in chat where you can actually go and check that out, or you can go to training.codyaskins.com. To check that out today I am waiving the $300 fee to join today and it continues to grow all right so uh, the, the reason why I want to talk engagement today is engagements a big piece of what we do getting someone keeping someone engaged on a phone like it's easier when you're in person it's easier when you're on a video it's harder when you're on the phone to keep someone engaged is really, really, really important. I'm going to give you what I feel like, and I'm only going to touch on one today, by the way, because, because you know, I, I'm, I'm doing this every Saturday, so I got to, you know, lengthen this thing out a little bit. All right. Um, I want to touch on. I, I want you guys to know that the main three things that agents struggle with. Okay, the main three things that agents struggle with. The main, the main three struggles, if you will. The main three struggles, if you will. Okay, and, and, and Andy, if I go out again, let me know. The main three struggles are rapport, engagement. That's keeping them engaged. They're engaged with you. They're, they know what's going on. They're a part of it. They're ready. Okay, and the third one is value. I'm telling you, closing is irrelevant if you can master these three things right here. Boom, boom, boom. If and when you become a master of these three things, you will close deals. You will close deals. You will close deals. And 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 Tanya, is that better, by the way? Okay, please let me know. You will end up closing deals simply. You will close deals, and closing will not be a problem simply because simply because. You got greater rapport, you got great engagement, keeping someone engaged for a long period of time through a phone without seeing them is very difficult. Okay, very, very difficult. And the third thing is value, the amount of value that you're able to put value in, in you, the carrier, the product, the riders, the benefits, everything. Right. And in, 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 in them actually owning the product. All right. Thank you so much for, for sharing about the membership. Um, awesome. And, and, and thank you guys for sharing this on social. I really appreciate that. OK. Um, and, and Christian, thank you for thank you for joining, buddy. And thank you for sharing. Um, all right. So these are the struggles. Right. We got that out of the way. I'm going to keep talking about these three things. Most people think it's closing. Most insurance agents think it's closing. Most of you think that we need to be discussing closing techniques and getting you to close a deal and shut down a deal and how to shut down a deal, when to shut down a deal, why to shut down a deal, right? Instead, what most people struggle with is rapport, engagement, and value. And we're going to talk about tonality another day in the future. Because you can see me and my own tonality on this webinar totally change. Totally change. 
couple of the best ways, and we're going to get to engagement in a second, but a couple of the best ways, a couple of the best ways to keep, to help with tonality, to help with tonality, because tonality is their ability to listen to you for a long period of time. If my tonality sucked, you would stop listening and there wouldn't be hundreds of people. Uh, and Andy, watch the attendee numbers again today uh, because we always have a tendency to get really close or to cap out on max capacity. We've had webinars before where people had to wait until someone left before they could get in. Um, and so please watch that. There's a, there's a chance that we could max out again today. We keep upgrading our software to go to webinar. We're in communication with them and we're letting them know, hey, we've, we've got a lot of people that are a part of these things. Please, please, please um, hook us up, help us out. All right. So uh, tonality. When it comes to tonality, there's two things that you can do. There's two things that you can do to get their attention. There's two things you can do to get their attention. Number one, you can tell a story because when you tell a story, you slow down and your own tonality changes and it gets their attention quickly. I did that on a training yesterday. We had, I don't know, this company had probably a hundred, I don't know, a hundred people on this training and I'm doing a team training for their whole team, right? Because I am the best in the industry at training sales teams and I absolutely love freaking doing it. That's the passion. Getting your sales team to dominate a market that's the passion. For anybody that's ever wondered what the passion is, helping sales people get great at sales, that is a passion. I had, I don't know, 80 to 100 people on here, and I could see some of them had their videos on, and some rooms were full of agents at long conference room tables and all that, right? And I could see, I wasn't seeing everyone's eyeballs during this training. So what did I do? I pivoted to a story. And when I pivoted to a story, when I was done with that story, I had everyone's attention. And I told him, I said, look around. Everyone is looking at me right now. Why? Because I pivoted to a story. When you pivot to a story, when you pivot to a story, people listen they pay attention and it's amazing how much it helps and how much it works okay so use stories to help tonality and to help engagement because all they're saying is and, and really tonality is keeping their attention for a long period of time pivot to stories and also you've got to have energy right because do, do you want when you're talking when you're trying to sell someone do you want tonality to be like a flat line like you're dead and I just talk like this the whole day and you just listen to me and you never like it and it sucks and you're like oh my gosh this is boring or does there need to be some peaks and valleys along the way this is part of engagement by the way and if you don't think it is you're wrong this is a hundred percent part of engagement and one thing that a lot of people struggle with is keeping the attention Keeping the attention. Hmm, I love that, Ronald. I love that, bro. That's good. Tonality is keeping the attention. Engagement's keeping their attention, keeping them focused. I watch attendee numbers on webinars, and for 16 minutes now, they've went up. Why? Tonality, engagement, stories, energy. I remember going to a home as a I remember going to a home as a kid and selling, and the lady's like, by the end, she's like, How the freak do you have so much energy? You are freaking crazy. She's like, I bought just because I want you as my agent. She's like, because every other agent's older and boring and they have no energy, no life, and it sucks. She's like, I only bought because of your energy level. That was engagement. That was attention, right? When I was 19, 20 years old, and thank you, Ronald. Dude, that's, I, that's, that's the other thing I was going to say. That's the other thing I was going to say. To get someone's attention, story 
energy. Silence. When you pause, it makes them think they lost you. It makes them think you froze up. Right? Or 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 really, or the other way could be a, a, a tech error. <laughs> Technically, right? Now now we didn't plan the tech error that we just had a second ago where I lost internet. You guys couldn't see me hear me, right? That wasn't planned, it wasn't fake, it was real. But more people jumped in chat during the tech error than the rest of the time. You gotta keep you gotta keep people engaged. Tonality is a big piece. Stories, energy, pausing, silence. Silence gets their attention, right? Silence. So, so what's this engagement piece and, and how do we get to where you are engaging to listen to? You are fun to listen to. People want to buy from you because they like talking to you and that your engagement is up. How do we fix that? How do we fix that? And, and, and you're right. They, they do think that they missed something important when, when you pause. That's also super, super, super true. So super trooper true. Engagement. How, how do you get to where you are engaging? Because think about this. Think about this. I really believe now that when someone says they're not interested on the phone it really what they mean is number one it's that's human nature by the way we talked about that in weeks past it's human nature everyone is not interested until they're interested right that's you know duh they're not interested there's nothing to be interested in yet and what they're telling us is that we are not interesting that we are not interesting if they're not interested thank you for all the tags and, and, and on facebook and instagram i i, I guarantee i'm going to give i'm going to give some money away for for sharing this thing out that's what happens they're not interested i'm not interesting i'm boring i'm boring to them if you're, if you're not interested in getting better at sales training and getting better at sales and getting better at closing and get better at engagement overcoming objections then it's my fault because i didn't motivate you and excite you to want to get great at this you make more you, you the better you get the more money you make this is what's true this is what i've seen to be true over my last 10 years what i've seen to be true is skill money Skill, money. As one goes up, the other goes up. As one goes up, the other goes up. As one goes up, the other goes up. And for you, I want you to challenge yourself and think about this on Success Saturday today. How much has your skill level went up since you started in the business? Let's just say you've been in the business a month. Fantastic. The best time to skill up is now. The best time to skill up is now. Okay. Now, also, if you've been in it for a year, have you gotten better or worse? Or you, you think you're the same? You're not the same. One or the other. Do, do you think? If you've been at three years, 10 years, 50 years, I don't care. Has your skill level gotten better? Has your skill level gotten better? Dude, you fix it by training. That's absolutely true. So true. And you're right. Steve's right. Whether you are 24 or 74, I was on the phone with an agent uh, this week in a strategy call that was 77. 
And she had more energy than a lot of 23 year olds that I see. She had a lot of energy. She was focused. She was determined. She wished she would have found insurance sooner. And she was brand new to the business. And I freaking loved it. It was absolutely awesome. Right? What's your skill level? Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Has it went up? Has it went down? As your skill level increases, you're able to help more people, you're able to make more money, and you're able to end up doing better simply because your skill level went up. Now, let's talk about engagement. Because when I talk about engagement, as I have several times already today, and I'm giving you a ton of little bitty secrets that maybe you picked up on, maybe you didn't. When we talk about engagement, what does that mean? How do we keep it? Well, let me give you let me give you a live example of how I keep engagement. And I become engaging. And they're engaging with me and I'm engaging with them, right? So how well, how does that work? What does that look like? Well, I am yes, I'm talking, but I'm also stopping. I'm asking and I'm getting them to respond and then they become part of the process. The whole process, they become a part of it. It's easy, it's easy for agents. It's easy for agents. It's super easy for agents. to puke on people, to vomit, to have the gift of gap, to talk a lot, and for it to be a one-sided sales process and a one-sided sales presentation. It doesn't need to be one-sided. It doesn't need to feel one-sided. They need to be a part of it. They need, to be, they need to be connected to you. They need to be a part of the process. It needs to make sense. And for it to make sense, they've got to be a part of it also. People always say that they need to they need to know, know, like, and trust. Well, for them to know, like, and trust, for them to know more about it, like it, and to trust it and you, they got to be a part of the process. So when I say what I'm talking about, stop, to talk, stop, ask, respond, and they become part of the process. What I'm talking about and what I've done and what I do is, okay, now, Miss Betty, I'm about to share with you my favorite benefit. You're probably ready to hear it, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. My clients absolutely love it. And I know you're going to love it too. Is it okay if I share it with you really quick? Sure. Okay, great. Thank you, Miss Betty. My favorite benefit, Miss Betty. Are you ready? Uh, uh, Cody, I'm ready. It is the price lock. Now, Miss Betty, did you get that? Yes. Do you know what that means? I don't know. What that means, Miss Betty, is that the price is, a lot of companies out there, the price changes every year, which you've probably seen. Every five years, when I'm 60, 70, or 80, the price changes all the time, and, and everything's always going up in the world. You're probably experiencing that right now, aren't you, Miss Betty? Yeah, I am. And I hate to see that, and everything's going up. And you've probably seen all those companies advertise on TV and through the mail and everywhere else where the price is going up all the time. And it probably, probably don't like that, do you? No. What's amazing about what we do, Miss Betty, is that the price is locked in. Whatever we, whatever we agree to and, and, and figure out and decide on today, it's never going to change, ever. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Now, is that benefit as important to you now as it is to me? Yes, and would do, and, and, and what I'm going to make sure, with your permission, I'm going to make sure that I include that into what we do here today. Now, you would like that, wouldn't you? Yes. Okay, great. Now, what did I just do? I turned one benefit into a dozen pieces of engagement. Now, do you think they're gonna feel like that you stopped, you asked questions, 
you let them respond and you listen and you don't cut them off and that they were a part of the process. Sales is a process, right? If I don't look at questions, if I don't move around, if I don't change my tonality, if I don't ask you questions, if I don't challenge you, if I don't motivate you, if I don't have visual aids, this attendee number wouldn't keep going up like it is. And Andy, watch it because we may have to upgrade. So, so think about that. Here's what I want you to do. How does it compare to what you're doing when you're on the phone? Look at last month. How did it compare to what you did last month? Did you talk too much? Did you not ask enough questions? Were you not engaging? Were you boring? Did they hate their life by the end of it? Did they want to get off the phone just because they were tired of you, but, but they wouldn't tell you that and you didn't realize it? Did they feel like it was a one-side presentation? Did they feel like you were talking a lot? Did they feel like you didn't, didn't give them a chance to speak? Do they like to vent? Do what personality do they have? Do they want to talk? Do they want to at least feel like they're in control, but you never gave them that choice? If that's the case for you, today we're going to fix that. Because you saw what I did. And I actually created, like I talked about earlier about rapport, engagement, and value. I added value to the product with one benefit. I added a lot of value. And I am not even talking about value today, but because I created engagement, it created additional value in what we're selling. Think about that. Think about that. Now, here in a few minutes, I'm going to give you a little bit of a quiz. Here in a few minutes, I'm going to give you a little bit of a quiz on how well you are currently doing and how well you could currently be doing. And I'm going to ask you in reference to you or your team. If you're an individual producer, I'm going to reference it in, in regards to you. The quiz. The quiz that I'm going to ask you in a little bit. Okay? And you, you, you do not want to miss the quiz that I'm going to give here in a few minutes. And if, you're, if, you're, if, if, you, if you have a team, I'm going to ask you this in reference to your team. And if you want specific video testimonials on how I've helped sales organizations be better i got a ton of videos on that a ton of videos on that okay so again if you haven't joined the membership today is the chance to do it all right thank you for joining appreciate that thank you thank you okay so remember you have to have high engagement they've got to be part of the process most people that are selling on the phone nowadays a lot of people that are selling on the phone nowadays are doing it incorrectly. And I, like I said, the very first phone sales training webinar that we had, most of us are just trying and just getting good at this and we're not gonna get good and we're not gonna get great until we actually have done it a lot and there's repetition. For me personally, my gift is getting people to make a decision is promoting something and getting them to take action on it. That's a gift of mine. You gotta figure out what your gift is. If your gift is rapport and relationships, then, then double down on that. But also try to get better at engagement and value. If you're great at creating engagement and value, but you are just brushing past rapport, spend some time getting better at rapport. Because I'm telling you, without those pieces, you will not make a sell. The price does not matter. The price is irrelevant. And, and you can tell that freaking massive insurance carrier and company that, that, that sent me the email um, a while back letting me know that price is, the, is relevant. 
that they're wrong, that they're wrong. Christ does not matter. It is totally irrelevant. Okay, we've had a, we've had a, several joins since we started. Thank you for joining the membership. I appreciate that very much. Okay, it means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. And again, those that don't know what I'm talking about, we have a Telesales Mastery membership. I waived the $300 joining fee for the first several that joined. We're up over 200 members now, and we have added a lot of content the last seven days. If you haven't went back in there to check it out, we've added a lot of stuff. And we're adding a bunch of additional stuff this week. Medicare, mortgage protection, um, audio recordings from the Telesales contest that I don't know that we've got uploaded yet. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that we will be adding to this very, very soon okay very very soon any questions before i get to the quiz okay if you have a question now's the time to ask it i'm going to go to the questions i'm going to look and i'm going to answer them. um you join you join by clicking the link in chat or by going to training.codyaskins.com we've even got we've even got and thank you um andy for answering a lot of these questions we've even got recordings of me making cells three or four years ago um and we're, we've got recordings of other, other people making cells as well and we're about to put a lot of the top recordings we got from that telesales contest in there as well uh, we'll probably put like the top 10 recordings that we got from the telesales contest in in to the membership as well so you can learn from me and that you can learn from others and if you have some amazing if you have some amazing telesales content yourself recording scripts, resources, and you think you're very good on the phone and you want me to share your stuff into the membership to give you some attention and for you to give a chance to give back to, to the industry and for other people to learn from you, email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com and I'll be happy to put in there or email Andy at Cody Askins. We'll be happy to put um, some of your content in the membership. If it's gonna help people, I'm all in, right? We just added a 20% a, a, a off of a dialer this week again. Um, and we've got, actually, we, we just added Another dialer too, I think. Uh, if we haven't added it, uh, we are adding it this week. Um, so we're going to keep adding stuff to that membership. So thank you. Um, so there's questions. I, I think you, you may have to put it in questions. Um, Andy, are they not able to see the chat? Um, Yeah, so, so you, uh, my, Michelle just brought up a great question. One of the main things that I like to do is if I can tell I don't have their attention, right? So here, here's a great example. Say you're on the phone with someone and they've got the TV on, okay? They're listening to everything going on in the, uh, uh, around them. They're busy, they're moving and shaking, whatever, right? You, you can't get the persons, in, the, the prospects that you can't get their focus and you're on the phone with them right now. What happens a lot of times is an agent will just keep going. This is this all everything I'm talking about today is engagement. People will keep going. You'll just keep moving, right? You, you, you'll just keep what I call this lose the sell on your own terms. Lose the sell on your own terms. So what happens is they're not paying attention to you. What do you do? How do you handle it? How do you handle that? Here's what you do. You don't continue. That's not, I mean, that's not gonna be a popular opinion. You don't continue until you get them on board, until they're paying attention, until they're focused, until they're engaged. If you give quotes and options and build value and do the whole hour and they're not engaged, it was a waste of time and you should have never did it. So you say, well, how do I get them engaged if they're not engaged, right? Like Michelle's talking about. Phenomenal question, by the way. That's the best question we've had today. How you get them engaged is by saying, you pause for a second, and you say this. John, I, I don't, can you hear me? Yes. J John, I don't have your undivided attention, do I? Get their attention. 
lose the sale on your own terms. And then if that happens, right? If that happens, thank you for joining. If that happens, then John, can you do me a favor? I'm about to go over, I'm about to go over the most important part of this call. And I don't want you to miss it, John. So can you do me a favor? Can you turn the TV? Um, can you turn the TV down or off just just for I, I just need a few more minutes because I'm having trouble hearing you because I'm I'm hearing it, you know. Can, can, and can you do can you do me can you do me that favor, buddy? Would that be okay? I do you do it in a nice, respectful way, but that's what you do. That's how you get attention back on you. Lose the cell on your own terms. Lose the cell on your own terms. And Charlena, you can't physically share it, um, but you can just take a picture or a quick video and put it up on Facebook and tag me. Um, that would be fine. Um, Steve says, Cody, if you have agents who are relaxing, giving a huge renewal base, how do you motivate them versus newer agents who don't have a renewal base? The renewal gang tells me that that was a goal they had 20 years ago. Tells me that if what that was a goal, that that was a goal they had 20 years ago, and to chill out because they met their goal. Thanks. Yeah, you you got to find a new way to uh, you got to find a new way to get their attention, to push them, to motivate them, and also them being plugged into another source that can smack them around a little bit, like I did that dry eraser, uh, will help. Will help. People struggle with motivation because because they get stagnant, okay? Because they get stagnant. People struggle with motivation because they get stagnant. And and why do what what why why do you why do you get stagnant? You get stagnant because you don't have a new challenge. And you don't have a new challenge because you're freaking asleep. You're totally asleep. I come up with new challenges to motivate me all the time. All the time. I'm telling you, they spend some time with me, I will get them motivated. I will get them focused. I will have I will get I will challenge them. Because the goals I was setting 10 years ago are a joke compared to today. They just are. They just are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engagement, interactivity is a really important to engagement. It's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. All right. So I'm about to give you a quiz. Okay. I'm about to give you a quiz that I want you to. It's a self-assessment. Okay. It's a self-assessment. I'm, I'm not going to go near as long as I have in the past because I want things to be right. I want these to start being extremely more valuable, right? Because that's my goal. Okay. Now. I'm about to give you a quiz, a little personal assessment that I want you to stay on and I want you to do. And I'm telling you, it will tell a lot about yourself. I gave it to myself people yesterday for, to start a new month. And it woke some of them up. Okay, so, so here. Before I give you the quiz, don't forget, you can join Telesos membership. I'm going to waive the fee until the end of this webinar. Okay, we got over 200 members. I'm going to waive the fee. All right. And and if you join um, today, we're also going to give you a discount code, a special discount code. Andy, I've got an idea for a special discount code that I want to add to the membership that any members can use on a on 8% as well as another new product we're about to release. Okay, so make sure that we add that. All right. So make sure you join Tell Us Us Mastery membership. It's links in chat. I've had several joined in during this. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Now, also, if you want, if you have a sales team or if you're an individual and you just want to be better at sales, we are releasing something. We are working on releasing something right now that will change the way this industry is trained to do sales. 
Okay, so what I'm talking about is I'm building a new, a brand new, extremely robust. It's going to be the hard, it, it, it is already the toughest thing I've ever built because of how much time it's taking. It's taking months to build this out. That's how valuable it is. Okay, we're building out a sales system to where you and your team can get access to me on a daily basis and everything that I know all the time, every day for years. Okay. And when we roll this out, you're going to get a chance for me to actually jump on with your team on video like this and kick it off. You're also going to get access to a daily, monthly, quarterly, and annual curriculum that you're going to follow. You're also going to get access to a comprehensive video library with well over 400, 500 training videos. You're going to get access to agent workbooks for you and your team complete workbooks that you can follow. And I'm gonna get on and do a live monthly group session with you and your team every single month. All right, so we're gonna roll that out um, shortly. If, you, if you're already hearing it, and you're like, dude, that sales system sounds amazing. I, I need that for my team. Then email us, Cody at CodyAskins.com, and I'll make sure that uh, I explain how it works and, and how we can get your team on it. Okay, Cody at CodyAskins.com. All right, because for me, my passion and what I'm really, what I'm great at is training salespeople. Okay, that's my passion. That's what I'm great at. And that's what I'm going to train you to do. All right, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, so the $300 fee is waived and, and I've already extended it long enough. There's a good chance. There's a good chance that I start charging a fee very soon, maybe as early as Monday. I'm not totally sure, but I do know that I, I promised I would eventually add a fee. I haven't yet because I've been my nice, but we've got well way more members quicker than I ever dreamed. So make sure you take advantage of that. Like if you're not in the membership yet, it, that, that's insanity, right? You just should be. Okay. So, and and yes, the 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 cell system we're working on will be the best sales training system on the planet for insurance, and it won't be even close. And everything else will pale in comparison. I promise you that. Okay, so let's do a little self assessment. Let's do a quiz. Let's do a quiz. Okay, so so if you're on this, and, and if you want to, uh, in in the telesales, here, here's what I'd love for you to do. I'd love for you to share your results of this quiz into the telesales mastery um, membership okay so we've got not everyone's in the group but you can see we've got 167 members in that group uh, you can't actually see it but um, that's a private Facebook group where uh, not everyone's joined it yet but um, if you're joining today make sure you get access to it it's a private Facebook group where we're sharing telesales stuff literally every day um, so make sure that you uh, check that out Okay, so make sure that you get access to that, all right? Um, so, and I want you to share your results in that group, all right? It's, it's for telesales members, people that are part of the membership, all right? So here's the quiz. Here's the quiz. Here's the quiz. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Thank you for joining. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, there, there, it, this is this is this is not a this is a month to month deal. You can cancel anytime. Um, you won't want to ever cancel. That's for darn sure. But ready, ready, ready. Okay. Self assessment. Self assessment. On a scale, of, and I would I, I would love for you to share your results not only in the membership but. I may do something special, okay? I, I'm gonna choose. I want you to, well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to email me. I'm gonna ask three questions. I want you to email your results of the quiz to me. To Cody at Cody Askins, all right? Cody at CodyAskins.com. Andy added in chat. Okay, very simple. Cody, Cody Askins, right? Just write it down. Email me the results. Email me the results. And I'm going to choose 
and I'm going to choose a few to actually do a I'm going to choose a few that I will do a strategy call with to actually talk through your results and how we can get those results up okay and how we can get those results up so after the quiz send me an email with your results and I'm going to choose a couple people that I'm actually going to help and I'll try to respond and get to get back to everybody to help you all but I'm going to choose to do some strategy calls but make sure you include your phone number okay make sure you include your phone number um, in that and I'm going to make sure that I get in touch with you to actually help you with your results okay you ready for the quiz ready for the quiz let's also make sure we add this uh, self-assessment quiz to the membership as well for those that weren't able to be on okay all right so here it is here it is okay question number one Question number one, and Andy, I want you to type this in chat as I put it up, because I'm not going to write it up, okay? Question number one. Everyone's got a gift. What do you believe? The question is, what do you believe your gift? When, when it comes to sales and business, don't make it about, you know, freaking making cat calendars, okay? What, what's your gift? When it comes to sales, when it comes to business, when it comes to skill level, when it comes to everything, when it comes to money, when, when it comes to everything, when it comes to insurance, what is your gift? What is your gift? What is your gift? And then write that down, okay? What's your gift? Second question. Second question. Second question. And this may end up being five questions. What are the what, what are you the weakest at? Or if you want to put it more positively, what do you struggle with? When it comes to sales. When it comes to sales, when it comes to actually selling insurance, in, 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 in any realm, what are you the weakest at? What do you personally struggle with? Okay, so for me, I'll share. For me, um, it wasn't closing deals. Um, it wasn't prospecting. For me, it was, for me early on, it was it was the value piece i was good at engagement i was good at rapport because i slowed down and focused on it i was great with relationships i struggled with with building value i didn't i didn't think the carrier and the benefits and the writers and the value really mattered um i was wrong and i have a system for solving that okay so 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 the, the answer varies right but what is yours okay what is yours what are you the weakest at number three number three When you look at your personal skill level, when you look at your personal skill level, thank you for sharing this. When 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 you when you look at your personal skill, thank you, uh, Ryan, Michelle, Bud, um, etc., several others. Appreciate you joining the Telesales Master Membership. Okay, thank you very much. That means a lot. Um, when, when you join, when you evaluate your personal skill level, your personal skill level. When, in, in, in regards to sales, sales skills, one to 10. One to 10, sales skills. One, I'm the worst there ever was. 10, I'm the best there ever was. Where do you sit? Where do you sit? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. And 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 this quiz is also going to tell me a lot about your own ego, by the way. Because if you put a 10, you're wrong. Because I wouldn't have answered a 10. And here's why. Because I know I can always be better. 
I don't want to work with people that think that, that think they can't get better, right? The, my, my, all of my mentors believe they can get better. Okay, sales skills one to ten. And and and, and I'm gonna ask two more questions, maybe three, and then we're gonna be done. All right. If you missed this webinar, we got hundreds on. I'm giving a quiz right now, and I'm gonna have them email me the results. And then I'm going to choose some to do a strategy call with me. We're going through a quiz right now. They're going through a quiz. We're sharing their answers. I'm asking questions. If you missed it, you missed it. Okay. Now, and now people on Instagram and Facebook felt like they missed it. All right. So question number four. Question number four. Last month results. April. April's results. April's results. On a scale of one to 10, how happy are you? I'm gonna ask six actually. Scale of one to 10, how happy are you? How happy are you with April's results? How happy are you with April's results? Okay. Number five. Number five. Number five. What are you going to do different in May? What are you going to do different in May that you didn't do in April to have a better May? What are you going to do better in May? You gotta pick something. You say, well, I don't know. Well, if you had to choose, what would you write down? Back to the steps. Write it down. May. What are you gonna do different in May to be more successful that maybe you didn't do as much of or enough of or as good at or any of in April? Okay, what are you gonna do different in May? And then number six, Then number six, this one's gonna be a little challenging. This one's gonna be a little challenging. Thank you for sharing all this, okay? Number six, last question. First one was, what's your gift? Number two is, what are you weakest at? Number three is your, 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 your like, sell skills, one to 10. Personal evaluation, April, your results, one to 10. May, what are you gonna do different in May to have a better May than you did in April? And number six, how, how, thank you for joining, how, how, I'm reading a book called there's no plan B for your A game. And I'm going to ask you, what are the steps that you need to take to become the best in the world for what you do? And what do you, and, and what do you want to be known? I mean, the first step is like, you got to figure out what, what you want to be known as I'm the best in the world at this, right? I write mine down every morning. I wanna be known as the best sales trainer in the insurance industry, in the entire world. That when people think of insurance sales, they think of me as the world's best sales trainer when it comes to insurance. That's mine, right? I'm not afraid to say it because I know it'll freaking be true, okay? The first step is you gotta believe it, right? So what are the steps you need to take to become the best at what you do? What are the steps you need to take to become the best at what you do? This self-assessment will tell me a lot about you, by the way. It'll tell me how coachable you are, how big or, how, how big or small of an ego you have, 
how big, how much ambition you have, how much passion you have, how serious you are, how focused you are, how much you want to be great versus how much you don't even freaking care. Because I don't work with people that, that, that don't want to be freaking great. I do not. I don't, I don't let my sales team sell to people that don't want to be great. Like we're building out this sales team, sales system that every individual on the planet should be on and every team on the planet should be going through every day. And we're about to release it very soon. And if you want, you want, you know, information about it, email me, Cody at Cody Askins. Until your team gets on it, until you get on it, and until you determine to be phenomenal, until you become determined to be the best at what you do, you will never be the best. You will never be the best. I don't want to be the best. Don't you? Okay, so, so, one through six, and don't, you know, email me the results at the top of the email with your, with your name and phone number. And I may just call and walk through your results with you. And what I did when I was in your shoes or what I'm doing currently to be the best in the world at what I do. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hear some of the results. Dor Doran says learn and better communication. I love that. Um, the, the monthly, the, the $97 a month is not being waived. Only the $300 joining fee. The $300 joining fee is being waived. Okay. Um, Andy, Andy will get you, uh, Edgardo, the uh, link. Okay. Commit and follow a schedule by Lori. Love that. Um, Shirley put, my gift is ability to close sales. That's an amazing gift. I'm with you there. I right, started with value. We sound a lot alike. My set skill is an eight. Okay. Very confident in yourself. That's all right. Uh, that's good at the same time. I'm not yet on the field pre-licensing. Well, you're not an eight then uh, yet. Okay. Um, don't have a comparison as of yet. And learn, research, listen to successful people. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for being honest too, you know. Um, and and uh, we, I see some similarities in, in me. Thank you for some synergy there. I see some similarities in me and you. I really do. Um, I'd like to say thanks, picked up some tips. Thank you, thank you. Um, number one thing is I will continue to invest in myself. We can never do enough of that. I'm glad you bring that up because I've personally invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in me, not my brand. I have in my brand as well, but I'm not talking about my brand. Not in business, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in me. I've got coaches that I pay 25 grand a year for, um, others that I pay two grand a month or six grand here and there or um, retreats. I've paid three grand to go to retreats. I've, I've paid 25K to go to masterminds. I've paid 20 grand to go to conferences. Like I will do whatever the flip it takes to make me a 10. I'll never be a 10, but I'm going to try my best. Gift is trustworthiness. That's a good one, man. That's a really, really good one. Um, not assertive. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the compliment and kind words. Um, is there support for the members on how to recruit faster? Um, yeah, Andy, why don't we throw um, that webinar, how to recruit 69 people in the next 69 days into the membership. I'm cool with that. Um, no matter where I'm at, I just keep telling myself I'm a zero. True story, man. Thanks again for this. Raymond, I love it, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm getting several emails coming in about your gift um, and your quiz. Please, please, please um, email me your results, and, and I'm going to take time to review them, to give you my thoughts, and who knows, maybe we'll be on the phone one day talking about it. Okay, so your quiz results, email me, Cody, Cody Askins. I would love to be able to train you and your sales team. If you want to talk about that, Email me, Cody, Cody Askins. I'd love to help. Also, join the membership, okay? Just do it. Like, I'm not even going to ask you to do it. Just do it. 
you know, if you don't, you're going to anyway, right? Let's take time out of the equation and let's do it right now. There's no reason not to. I'm having some problems in, in uh, uh, okay, e email Andy, if there's any tech tech errors at all. A lot of people are, I think, a lot of people were trying to, uh, have been joining or trying to join. That should be, it may, it may have, um, we've had sites and stuff that have crashed before. So email Andy, Andy at Cody Askins if you have trouble. Um, my gift is to help people solve their problems and get what they want. That's good. That's a good gift. I get trust in, in my knowledge pretty quickly over the phone. I lack getting the self quicker. Um, it's kind of ironic. Most of the people that are really good at building trust and rapport struggle with closing. And I believe it's because they're like holding themselves back from, from getting the deal. Okay. Um, so thank you for make sure you put that in, in a one through six order so it's so it's easy for me to read. I don't, you know, I don't love paragraphs, I'm not gonna lie. Um, thank you for being a part of this. Please email me your results. Please join the membership, and I would love to help train your sales team. Also, if you would like a team table or a special discount code on getting an A percent nation ticket, or you want your whole team to sit on the floor, or you want to meet Jordan Belfort, or you want a special discount code for eight percent. Email me, Cody at Cody Askins, and we're going to make sure we include all the special discount codes into the Telesales Master Membership as well. Okay, 8% Nation, July 24th, 25th. Tickets are going every single day, and I'm grateful that they are. Do not miss out on the conference. Do not miss out on the membership. Do not miss out on me helping you get great at what you do. I want to help your team. I can make your sales team the best on the planet. All right, appreciate you being a part of this. I'm grateful that you are. I love all of you. I want your energy to be high. I want your enthusiasm to be high. And I want your empathy to be high. Okay, so thanks for being on this. Love you. Appreciate you. This will be recorded and thrown into the membership. Uh, so thank you. Have a great weekend. Happy Success Saturday. And go crush May and next week. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Hey, if you love this video, stop what you're doing. Click right there. I've got another phone sales videos with tips specifically for you to convert people over the phone. Click on that video and I'll see you there. Today I want to talk about five easy phone sales tips that you can implement right away and see success with. Okay, so stay with me as I go through each one of these.